my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they would buy. Well, she love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. I searched to find a love with them. I searched to find a love with them. I feel like I've been telling y'all I've been meaning to uh, spread grass seeds in the backyard for freaking ever and I finally did it today um, even though I couldn't do the whole yard child because my husband just I mean totally went overboard in the front yard baby we're gonna have grass growing out of everywhere when this stuff starts sprouting up because he put a lot of seeds I thought he was gonna leave me a lot more than he did for the back child because I didn't even have enough to do the whole backyard but it is what it is. I got the other side of the house and the essential spots that were kind of bare in our backyard. And if we decide to give Pennington even more of our money, which is uh, the seeds that we use, the grass seeds that we use, I'll finish the backyard before husband gets his hands on it and uh, <laughs> spreads more in the front yard. We shouldn't need any more in the front yard for um, the next several months, honestly. But knowing my husband and the progress that he's seen, he just too thirsty. And that's really what we be going wrong. You know what I mean? We be on track to do real good. And then husband go overboard. And he just go overboard and overboard and overboard until it becomes overkill. And hold on, y'all. I'm getting a call. I'll call my cousin back. Until he goes overkill and kills the grass. Usually that's the cycle. So right now, we're on the trajectory to have the best looking grass in the yard. I'm just saying. You know, I might be a little biased. But anywho. Uh, once I leave the gym, we only have one stop to make, and that is H.E. Bizzle. We're going to go there. Tonight is going to be a Chinese food night, Asian food night. We really, really liked. Um, I'm going to have to go, y'all, because my cousin, this is her second time calling me. Um, we really like the General TSO chicken that we tried from H-E-B, so we're going to run that back. They also have some fried rice, so I'm going to get that. we just going to get all of the fixings for our Asian night or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and go, y'all, because my cousin calling me. Um, it's pretty important. I hope y'all have a fantastic Friday. I'll pick you guys up once I make it to the gym.
turn it down. We are done with our workout. It is 12 14. I was on the phone with my cousin. Hey, not your girl. Oh, is that wet? Okay, I'm tripping. I was on the phone with my cousin for most of my workout. I did two uh two upper body workouts weighted of course i'm just gonna stop saying weighted just be under the assumption that everything i'm doing is weighted okay we're trying to be a muscle we're trying to be fit thick er because yeah i'm already thick anyway um so i did two upper body workouts um i did one lower body y'all i'm re the the machine where you pulsate out that focuses solely on the glutes got me in a chokehold. I ain't even a cap to y'all. I was on that machine for like 15, 20 minutes. The gym wasn't packed, but there were some people I noticed waiting on me to get off. And baby, I took my time, okay? Because I pay just like everybody else pay. And I took my time. I took my time and really worked out them glutes. And as soon as I get off that machine, I definitely felt like Bambi. Um, so I know for the next few days, I'm going to be giving serious Bambi vibes and that's okay. It is what it is. It's going to pay off y'all. It's going to pay off. And then of course I finished with the Stairmaster. I initially, uh, uh, I can't talk. I was trying to put initially and originally together. Did y'all hear that? Hooked on phonics. Okay. Anyway, uh, I originally wanted to do 20 minutes on the Stairmaster, but I could only do 10 because um, I got an email uh, from my manager. I need to send a wire um, out. So I'm gonna run to HEB because what we not finna do is go all the way home. Is that sweat? Okay then. <laughs> Sis is dripping, all right. Anyway, what we not finna do is head home for the two seconds that it's gonna take me to send a wire because I already created it. I just didn't send it. And then head back out to go to, to the grocery store to pick up these little items. We, we're we not gonna do that. Because once I'm in, I am in. I'm not coming back out anymore. It's 62, so it's kind of cool. The wind is blowing, but it's not like cold, cold. We are supposed to get some more rain. Uh, actually, we're supposed to get rain clear into next week. So these next few days is going to be very, very nasty outside. And when it's like this, I only want to take care of the essential items and I want to go back home. I want to chill. I want to edit. I just want to not be outside, really. I want to eat my Chinese food, baby, because I'm already knowing it's going to bust. The orange chicken, no. The general TSO chicken that I picked up the last time I was at HEB, was chef's kiss so i have high expectations for their fried rice and their orange chicken and i might also see if i can find some egg rolls as well husband will be home soon zay is already at the crib he had the day off today so baby i'm just trying to get the cozy chinese food vibes that's all i'm trying to do i'm just trying to <laughs> be out the way and be eating okay that's that's pretty much it after i didn't burn all these calories at the gym Here are our pickups from HEB. I got some fruit this time around, some strawberries and some blueberries, and I also got some grapes. For today's lunch slash dinner, I picked up this fried rice seasoning mix. Sorry for the light glare. Hopefully it's really, really good. 
I also got some honey smoked turkey meat cut fresh from the deli. These are Isaiah's pickups. Don't mind that little wick right there. That's a uh, the little stick from my incense I was burning earlier. But anywho, when I am not at a store that sells Isaiah's flaming hot cool ranch Doritos, he likes these. This is the H E B uh brand jalapeno tortilla chips. They're really, really good. I also picked up some of my favorite, which is the thin sour cream and onion H E B chips. Sis also got some sweet and sour sauce as well as some soy sauce and i blew a mini bag on all of the uh, heb branded asian style chicken the only one that i did not get was the sesame chicken because mm, i'll try that one at a later date <laughs> but i got a bag of orange chicken a bag of general tso chicken this is the one that we had last time that we really liked and this is the sweet and sour chicken. So we'll be trying these two for the first time. I also got a half gallon of 2% milk. We got some fried rice. Y'all saw me pick up the HEB brand uh, of the fried rice, but those bags were really small. I couldn't find a big one. And I am praying that the, that the family loves this. And y'all, I am just not realizing that baby, it got broccoli and carrots. Lord have mercy. We're going to have to take that broccoli out. We can do the carrots, but we cannot do the broccoli. I mean, I'm not doing the broccoli, so I'm going to have to finesse this a little bit. But anywho, I'm hoping that it'll be good. And I'm going to use this seasoning pack in the rice mix and let you guys know how it turns out. This is another first time pick up for me. These are energy drinks. Let me give you guys a closer look. So the brand is called Uptime. The flavor is raspberry lemon. It's flavored with other natural flavors for a mental physical uh, for mental and physical energy. It has natural caffeine. I don't know what that L T word is, child, but you can read it. It also has zero sugar. Let's see what the back says. Here we go. It has five calories, no total fat, no sodium, no total, well, two grams of total carbohydrates, no protein. And you can read the other ingredients down at the bottom. This was on sale. You get 50% off. I'm sorry, 50 cents off. Child, I wish it was 50%. You get 50 cents off the bottle at checkout and I got two of them. Again, this is the raspberry lemon flavor. Dag Navage Child, I picked up two of the same flavor. Freak, they had like three other, four other flavors. Um, and I was trying to pick up two different ones, Child, but end up picking up the same one. So hopefully the raspberry lemon hit, Child, cause I got two. But anywho, I also picked up a 12 pack of orange burst. These are first time pickups and child, they look real good in a container. This is a H-E-B uh, raspberry lemonade and an H-E-B regular lemonade. Both of these are non-genetically modified, honey, okay? And we also lastly got some chicken egg rolls. I've had these before. They're really, really good. And they're gonna pair really well with the rest of our lunch slash dinner. And these are the items that I got from H-E-B. Bible and we're going to see what the Lord says about his money. 
Because you think it's your money, don't you? Why not? But it ain't your money. It's his money. Right? But we got to read a few places first, right? Now look, my name is Brother O'Neill. I'm with the Israel of God. I'm a teacher here. And this is my brother Maurice. He's my reader today. Amen. So uh, we teach by subject and title. So we don't have to stand the, the borders of this lesson today. We ain't going out showing you you're an Israelite. <laughs> we talk about God's business today. Amen. Okay? Amen. And how he do his business, right? right. Uh, so uh, we're going to get right into this lesson. Let's go to Malachi 3. Because we got to read this first. Traditional religion uses this verse religiously, I should say. Yes. They really throw this at you if you have no knowledge. Because they know you come to church. They know you come to church looking for something. But they know you ain't got no knowledge. Right? So they play on that. They play on the lack of knowledge, right? So we're going to read this book. Malachi 3, pick it up on verse 6, brother. And go ahead and read. For I am the Lord thy God. I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now he tell you he don't change. Right there, he tell you, I change not. So this is the same God we've been dealing with from the book of Genesis. Right? Go ahead. Even from the days of your father, ye are gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But he said, wherein shall we return? Now he talks to him, like, where are we going to return? Read, brother. Will a man rob God? Will a man do what? Rob God. Will a man rob God? Right? How you going to rob God if you never seen him? We're going to see right now. Oh, will a man rob God? What does say, brother? Yeah, ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You robbed me in your tithe and your offerings. That's how you done robbed me. Read, brother. Ye are cursed with a curse. Uh huh. For ye have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Not only have you robbed me, you robbed the whole nation because you do not take care of the business like I say take care of it. A wise guy. Real time walk. What's up? What's going on? It's too long to play, right? You got to Okay. What, what size for a five eyes? Is that what's in uh, the four notes? I don't know. Lavender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe I'll get sugar cookie. Ooh, I, 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 I do love the sound. I of never thought rainwater smelled, but let me smell it. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, what about these smell together? I don't know. That's fine. Smell I don't know. Together. Um, I think that's why it smells good. It does. I like. Girl, I don't, yeah, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Okay, thank you. All right, everyone. So we have two different size vessels on the bar. We have our six ounce and then we have our 12 ounce. They, they're very similar, uh, but I will point out the differences as we go. For explanation purposes, I will be working with our six ounce, but again, I'll point out the differences as we go along. What we're gonna go and start by doing is if you have a six ounce, just go ahead and take off your lid and just place it to the side. We won't need it for now. And then for everyone, if y'all go ahead and take your vessel and just turn it upside down and place it on your tray. What we're gonna go ahead and do is take our little sticker here, this little caution sticker. 
we're gonna go ahead and take this, peel it off, and place it right on the bottom of our vessel. So this is our general little caution sticker telling you to watch the cat's tails, don't let the kids drink the wax, don't know the works. Um, I wouldn't say if it didn't happen, but like, it's, it's crazy we got these. So once y'all have that on, y'all can go ahead and slip it right back over. Then the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take two pieces. We'll take this silver clip and then our wooden wick. Have you ever burned a wood wick handle? Yes. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> no, no nose. No, and y'all can go ahead and place it to the side for now because we're gonna go ahead and work with this sticker next. So for some of us, it'll be a yellow and white sti uh, sticker or it'll be white on both sides. They're the exact same though. So this is gonna be our double-sided wick tape. And this is what we use to adhere the wick adjustment together to our vessels. Now that we have our wick centered in our vessels, we are already halfway down the process. I'm telling y'all, it is super easy to make a candle. The process is super simple, super fast. At the end, you are gonna be like, dang, like, why does everyone do this? It is so simple. That's literally what I said when I first did it, and now I do it for a living. So maybe y'all will do me next. Y'all be like, I don't know. Y'all okay. already be ready to put this on your resume by the end, so we'll see. So y'all, huh? We can get a job? I mean, might as well. Okay, we'll sign up. Okay. 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 Oh, girl, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the one. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not yet. Yeah. 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 Well, you'll put it in your shot glass. Yep, we'll put it down. We'll go ahead and stir our fragrance together to combine our scents. No, you don't. You will wait it out. Unless you have one of the This will be the closest mm -hmm. that we're going to get to our candle. Oh, so girl! Uh, oh, my goodness. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Like it? I love that. They about to be so jealous. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That goes so hard. I might have to do that. Smelly. You don't look satisfied. Jazz. Smelly, Jazz. Smelly. <laughs> what is this? World hey. Rock. Toy Smelly. <laughs> World Rock. It's Rock. Nikki, cuz smelly. Ooh, I would say this is probably one of the more important parts of the process. This is what's gonna make your break. This mine. What we're gonna go ahead and do is rock. It's rock. Apple one. A pitcher of wax. So it's gonna be really hot. I say so for every fragrance, it's different. So I'll go and I'll tell each of you what it is gonna be. But why it matters is because if say you get your wax and it's like 260 degrees, but you have a flash point of say 200 degrees. If you were to take your fragrance and pour it in right away when your wax is too hot, you run the risk of completely burning up your fragrance until you just have wax. And so obviously we don't want those tools if you can. Oh, oh, oh. oh what's it mean? Oh, Give it a little wheel. Hey, you guys, it is, what time is it? I can't see my watch. It is 9.01. We're done at the B Elevated Candle Bar, as you guys can see right behind me. Oh, you better tear it up, TC. You better, you so fine. You tear it up. 
So now we're about to head out and get something to eat. Not quite sure where, but I just wanted to check in with y'all. We had a fantastic time. This candle making was very quick. I thought we was gonna be here for a half a minute. Our appointment was for, um, our reservation was for eight o'clock. I arrived at like 8.07, y'all know, the late friend. And um, I don't even think we was <laughs> doing what we needed to do for a hot 30. Like it was very quick, but I'm super satisfied with my scent. Unfortunately, we cannot leave with the candle. We do have to come back and pick it up, but we do have 30 days to pick it up. So we'll have one of the girls, I'll have one of the girls pick mine up because this is a hot little minute from the crib, but we're trying to figure out our next move. Here are the girls. As soon as I find out where we're going next, I'll pick you guys up. See? And I'm real rude. Happy birthday, Coco. Y'all be sure to show Courtney some love. I'll put the thumbnail to her channel right here. Head over, hashtag JP sent me. And again, show my girl some birthday love. Happy birthday, my girl. I love you so very much, Pip. The turn up continues. Jim Johnson, Jim Johnson, Jim Johnson. It's bad, bro. It's bad, bro. Be sure to follow my girl. Oh, I can't find it. I can't find it. Let me 
me see your cupcakes, girl. Oh, they are so cute. Ooh, girl, they is cute. Can you see them? I can see them a little bit there. It's a little flip, but it's okay. They can be there. What is up, you guys? We are done with our dinner at Yard House. I have my little cupcake to go. Now we're walking to our parking spot. Three of us are in the parking garage. Um, the other three of us parked right in front of um, the candle making spot. Toy and Casey and my new cousin Nikki uh, have gone to their car and it's the six of us. As you can see, Toy, Stacy, Courtney, Ashley, Jazz, and myself. We had a fantastic time. Courtney enjoyed her birthday, praise the Lord for that. I enjoyed everybody's company. We had a fantastic time. Child, now I can't walk and talk now because I'm in these here boots. And even though these boots is made for walking, child, they're not made for walking and talking. So I'm gonna holler at y'all when I get Bye, I love you, girl. Bye, baby. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna believe what I just did to Stacy. Stacy said, nigga, talk for yourself. Man. Look at this, this should be a scene. Let all it pop. Hey, fam. Sorry, it is very dark. It is currently 11.17. I have said my goodbyes to the girls and I am on my way to the crib. Y'all, we had a fantastic time from the candle making to dinner and drinks. The entire night was phenomenal. And most importantly, like I told y'all earlier, um, Courtney enjoyed her birthday. So that's all any of us could ask for is for our girl to have a fantastic time at her birthday shindig. I am fat full. Y'all know I stick to the basics. I really wanted to try a, um, a Korean barbecue Philly cheesesteak that they had on the menu at Yard House. And we were at Yard House just in the event I didn't say it or y'all didn't catch it. Um, in the footage that I showed y'all. And I've gone to Yard House on two other occasions. Uh, two years ago, it was for my husband's birthday. And last year, it was for my sister's, my little sister's 21st birthday. Um, my second time being at that location, the staff was phenomenal. The food was great and fresh. The drinks were good and strong. <laughs> okay, can we get an amen? And uh, I just had a really good time. Really, really good time tomorrow. Um, my husband has rehearsals for an upcoming performance that he has on December the 2nd. So I may or may not hang out with him uh, and go to his rehearsal again. If I do or if I don't, I'll keep you guys posted and let y'all know. For now, I am on my way to the crib, y'all. I am tired. I'm very tired. I showered, freshened up and all of that before, um... I made it out to the girls, which by the way, I barely made it y'all, like barely made it. The uh, candle making, the candle making um, place that we went to, I think it's called Be Elevated. I don't know, I'll put the, the name of it on the screen. They were sticklers for punctuality and on the, um, on the, email that you got after you purchased your ticket as well as the follow-up information that me and the girls received they were like if you're going to be beyond 10 minutes you need to reschedule don't pop in like none of that and i mean i'm paraphrasing right but basically they was like if you're going to be more than 10 minutes late you just need to reschedule your candle making session and y'all when i tell y'all i walked in there at 8 10 baby <laughs> Praise God. I really, really thought them people was going to turn me away. But the owner of the company, her name was Emma. She was really, really nice. Really helped me because, child, I was very hooked on phonics and very indecisive with the fragrance that I wanted to go with. I did pick um, apple, bourbon apple and candy apple because I was trying to go for a fall vibe. And then at the very end, she was like, um... Earlier today, I paired candy apple in white sage. You should try it. She was like, that fragrance combo really rocked my world. And I do like sage, like the fragrance sage. But when she paired it together for me, I was like, girl, girl, put that bourbon apple back. I got to have, I got to have this sage and candy apple combo and i'm so glad that emma helped me out i can't think of the um 
other lady, the other worker that was there. I can't think of her name, but she was equally as pleasant and patient and nice. And baby, we be looking for pleasant, pleasant, patient, and nice when we go out as a girl group because we be kikiing a lot, we get distracted a lot, we get to talking amongst each other a lot. And even though we were doing that, while Emma was giving instruction because there was like four other people in there um, aside from me and the girls. It was nine of us in total and then four other individuals. I mean, the spot was very small. Y'all saw that. Um, but she was still very patient and kind, never hit us with an attitude, very accommodating. And even though we were the last class and they were technically closed, uh, by the time our class was done, she was like stay as long as you want we're just about to clean up take all the pictures get all the footage we didn't tell her that we were content creators or anything like that but she was just very very nice and so i'll definitely be back that's a super cute spot not only for girls night girls dates or whatever but also to grab your boo so i'm thinking about taking my boo there um because my husband likes candles um not as much as i do but he likes you know likes candles and so i think it would be really dope for us to go back and uh enjoy that experience as a couple so i'll keep you guys posted if me and may decide to do that as a um you know a little romantical date or whatever and then we can do like we did tonight uh together and go and grab some dinner or drinks we were at the uh town center i can't i think it's memorial city town center if i'm not mistaken and there like they have a wide variety of just about everything you can imagine dessert spots they even have like a little area for kids to play um a plethora of restaurants they have a bowling alley they have an escape room like it's so much freaking stuff in that one area that they have kind of jam-packed so i don't know really excited to go back but i really enjoyed my experience overall tonight i just wanted to check in with y'all because we have not talked much um since i opened up the vlog because we had church earlier and so on and so forth and usually saturdays are really busy for me but instead of waiting until tomorrow and giving you guys my feedback on the experience that we had tonight celebrating court's birthday i decided to just pick y'all up on the way home I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for Courtney's birthday again. Don't forget to show her some B-Day love. I am going to go focus on this road. Hello you guys, it is 12.25. I know I told y'all in the car that I would come to y'all on tomorrow, but I decided to go ahead and end the vlog here now and just start a fresh vlog on tomorrow. I hope that you all enjoyed hanging out with me in this vlog. If you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Sorry for that noise that you hear in the background. Child, that's everybody hates Chris because yes, at this point, it's not a show code, it's a headlock. Like I've been watching these reruns like nobody's business, but anywho. As I said, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that we can be fam. And hit that post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Perry or go sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci? No, all I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you alone.